Labour and Socialist Movement, the People's Alternative Political Movement, has rejected the planned hike in the prices of gas and petrol, as well as electricity tariff. It also demanded the reversal of the power sector privatization done by the previous administration. The Oyo State Chairman of the TPAPM, Ibrahim Mohammed, and Rashidat Adishina disclosed that it would hold Occupy Nigeria Phase 2 to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the first phase and to demand the reversal of the current obnoxious policies of the government. The movement also demanded total reversal of the power sector privatization and the renationalization of the power sector. It is noteworthy that the very same reasons that impelled Occupy Nigeria are once again coming together to impel another January uprising. Incompetent government, willing class greed and impunity, absence of domestic refining capacity, rising cost of living, increasing joblessness and intensifying insecurity. This time around we must, as a people, meet the challenge more uh, resolutely, but also with greater political determination. And what is their position on deregulation? What they are saying now is not that they are saying they are opposed to deregulation. They said they are opposed to deregulation, they will support deregulation as long as the refineries are made to work. But if the refineries are working, why do they need to deregulate again? That is the question. We are saying that that is not the correct position. The correct position is for us to oppose deregulation outrightly. Kerosene has been deregulated. Diesel has been deregulated. What has been the result of all those? It can never be in the interest of ordinary working people and the poor of this country. It will always be in the interest of the significant few who are benefiting from the state of things. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.